Gold is hovering around $1,480, but continuing to show signs of weakening. We've seen some rallies uh, of late, but each time we see a rally in gold, it seems to get sold into at slightly lower and lower levels. Already once we've seen 1480 actually broken when we saw a move back towards the 1460s. And while this didn't last long because of overall risk aversion in the markets, driving prices back up towards the 50 and 20 levels, it was notable that those, those rallies were capped at levels below the previous peak. And now once again, we've finally seen $1,500 break once again. We're hovering around 1480. And again, this is a level that's looking very vulnerable. Again, 1480 was previously quite a significant level it was the level where we were looking at as a possible neckline in a head and shoulders pattern and while we did see a retracement on the back of that that was capped again at the 61.8 fib level which again is another technically significant level that we have now rotated lower off of again though this is a move that is dragging its feet this is not something which is happening rapidly but if we do see this 1480 go again putting pressure on the 1460 again i do think we could potentially see this pick up a little bit of pace now that could come from a number of different things whether that is movements in the u.s china trade war whether it is uh, movements on interest rates in the u.s or just overall risk aversion in the markets we have to remember that a lot of what has driven gold higher over the course of the summer has now been largely priced in. So this kind of corrective move that we are seeing now is not necessarily symbolic of people's views that everything is better and the world is rosy again and the US is going to start raising interest rates again, but more a sign of how much is already priced in and they were therefore in this kind of corrective phase. I think the longer term prospects for gold continue to be bullish and that seems to be the market's view at this moment in time, uh, but that doesn't mean we can't see corrective moves along the way. Now, if we see a break of 1480, as I say, 1460 starts to look extremely significant, being the most recent low. But I think there is potential that this could even go a little bit lower again. If we just take the size of the head and shoulders pattern, for example, the size of the move from the neckline around those 1480 levels to the shoulder gives us a possible conservative uh, price projection back around the kind of 1430s to 1450s. And again, this is highlighted on the charts and that has a as a previous area of uh, of resistance now if we take the more aggressive potential price projection and again this is just going off the textbooks this is not uh, specific and it's not guaranteed but a possible price projection from the head uh, around the kind of uh, 1560s down to the neckline around 1480 again projected lower that gives us a possible price projection of around $1,400 now again this is historically an area of interest potential support and resistance as well so that would suggest that there is plenty more of a corrective move to come in gold and again this would still only represent around half of the move that we actually saw over the course of the summer so representing a healthy correction in the yellow metal while not necessarily threatening the longer term prospects for gold which i think many people still agree because we are seeing interest rate cuts in, in the us but also rate, rate cuts in the euro area uh, and elsewhere uh, i think a lot of people still do see the longer term prospects for gold as being relatively bullish this would represent a healthy correction and not a trend reversal uh, while also seeing this larger move potentially play out but of course with all the risks that we are seeing right now the risks to the global economy the risks geopolitically and elsewhere and the fact that we are now in the midst of another earnings season there is a lot of things that could fundamentally change this picture over the coming days and weeks which will continue to make this interesting but right now the markets in the charts do seem to be shaping up for something of a broader correction